Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and today we're going to be walking around this 1957 210. This one here has the inline six cylinder. And what I like to do is point out any kind of flaws. That way you know exactly what you're buying when you get here. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I post videos almost every day. You can get financing shipping information, wheels, tires, parts, accessories, and all of our inventory at maplemotors.com. We're gonna get started up here in the front. I like to hit the lower sections, come back to mid section and hit the top. We'll try not to miss anything. You can also see a test drive video that I was on when I drove to this parking lot at the end of this one, usually located the last 30 seconds. Coming up to the front bumper, it does have imperfections. You can see some light scratches, a little bit of pitting popping up around with some little bubbles on the chrome and the front bumper's got all kinds of little scratches same with the grill having some pitting popping up the paint job on this is pretty looks to me to be in great shape let's get up close and it does have some minor flaws you see the chips a few little touch-up marks Coming down the lower body, looking for any kind of rust bubbles. There's a little bit of a bubble trying to pop up on the door there on the back driver's door. Coming up around the fender well. And the chrome on the backs is the same as the front. It does have some pitting popping up. And scratches here on the bumper. Coming down the mid section. All the trim is nice and clean. Looking pretty good. Do have a slight little dent in the trim there, probably where they tried to put it on. There's a light scratch on the front fender. You also have a few light scratches right up here on the nose of the front fender. Coming down the top portion, covered in wax, nice and clean. Little bit of paint missing there have a few chips around the, the window here roof is in great shape look over the front window before we make it too far it's nice and clean no chips and the seal looks good around the window up there the door handle does have a few little pitting spots popping up on it when I get really close you can see that A little bit of bubbling popping up right there in the white around the trim a little spot in the back glass right there like I said the roof is in great shape coming around this back side back bumpers faded needs to be replaced I got a magnet tag sitting on there right now that tag is not bolted your gas cap weather stripping looks good around the back trunk lid truck lid itself has insulation in it. it's kind of messed up there in the middle but overall it's decent some extra parts back here a really clean truck trunk and it's got some chips back here but it's not all rusty I mean it's solid looking up in the package tray she's good to go Spare tire, jack, all the stuff you need. See how she shuts very easily and lines up pretty nice. There's a very light dent in the trunk, very small right there. I don't know if it's popping up on the video, but it's in this area. Now we're gonna come down this side. I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the driver's side as, and I'm gonna just match it up. We're gonna go down the lower portion here. Look for any kind of bubbles at the bottom of the door, which this one has a little spot right there, two little dots. 
always check these lower por portions because like that that's a little bit of rust popping up and it's in that front fender a little touch up mark probably where they scratched it putting the front bumper on coming down the midsection trim is in great shape middle of the door there has a few little scratches like that you definitely tell they've replaced the side trim on the car there's a little chip back here coming on down the door handles do have some pitting on them pretty much all of them do Same with the antenna. We will be shutting the hood down and seeing how it lines up. Looking for flaws on it as well. The roof is in great shape. Same thing on this side as the passenger side, or as the driver's side, a little bubbling popping up in the white there. All right, we've walked all the way around this car. We're gonna go ahead and jump on the interior, check it out, get her started, listen to the motor, and give you some undercarriage shots. I want you to go to maplemotors.com after this video or after you watch the test drive and look at the undercarriage shots. Detailed photos that go over the car just one more time in case I missed anything. First off, looking at the interior, it has been redone. The carpet, the seats, the door panels. Uh, the bottom of this door panel looks a little bit wavy to me. Weather stripping around it looks great. Been replaced. The bottom of the door is solid. And it is a little bit wavy. It's been replaced though. Nice and new. Probably just needs to be trimmed back up and stuck back on. Around it looks good. Looking at your headliner, it's pretty clean. You can tell it's an older headliner, but it's in great shape. Back seat looks awesome. Same with the package tray. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? I'll tell you what, we're on a roll this week. They haven't been working on anything. <laughs> Sometimes it happens like that with these old classic cars. All right, let's start her up. We're gonna try it without pumping the gas, but I'm pretty sure you gotta pump the gas twice on this one every time you restart it. Well, prove me wrong. It finally warmed up, I guess. <laughs> Only thing I was mad about on the test drive is my credit card. I've done used it three times a day and it cuts me off every time I use it three times in one day. I couldn't check the gas gauge, so I don't know for sure. Hopefully we'll get that checked later this week. The temperature gauge does not work. It is showing 30,000 miles. That is hard to stand behind because we don't know the history on a 57 model to the T. Every 100,000 miles, it goes back to zero on the dash. The heater is working. Might leave that on a little bit. <laughs> Our windshield wipers are slow. I think they may need an upgrade. They start to come up. That motor may be going out. They're just slow. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it off before we burn that up. And the horn, are you ready? We're on a roll this week. No horns all week. <laughs> oh, it's very cold out here today. It's about 32 right now, so I'm sure somebody else is going, that's not cold, but it is in Tennessee. <laughs> Motor's nice and quiet. Just a cruiser, inline six, small carburetor, just literally cruised down the road. And those motors were pretty reliable. Uh, do have a few chips up front. I notice as I'm coming down with the hood, you can see them on there. 
come on down. Shuts pretty nice. Looks awesome. Paint job on this looks great. Hood is sitting a little high up here in the front. Sitting great in the back. I guess, since I got them stuck, we gotta go on out with them and come on back. There we go. All right, we're gonna be doing some undercarriage shots now. We're gonna start in the front or maybe the rear, I don't know. Let's go on back here. And we'll look under this car. Let's go ahead and check it out. ready to take off on the test drive video be sure to watch that the last 30 seconds of this video you can get finance shipping information wheels tires parts and accessories at maplemotors.com and i want to thank you for watching i'm getting ready to hit 200,000 subscribers pretty excited about it so go ahead and hit that subscribe button it'll push us right over all right guys thanks again i'll see y'all later